Check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. They may be small, but trust me, you won't like them when they're angry. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations Minicon Assault Team. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is. As usual, nothing really going on back here without the comic book in it. There you got the Minicon Assault Team looking all Minicon-y, assaulty, and teamy. And I love the fact that they had the little Minicon logo in there. Right there, yes, there are many cons, and for some reason they only give you a picture of one of them. Um, on the back, you got your tech specs right there. You got your obligatory product shots, and you got your bio if you want to read it. And that's basically it for the packaging. And of course you do get a comic book with a nice picture of the uh, combined mode there of Century Tron. So you have that, and... um. Yeah, uh, this comic book, I think you only see the Minicons in, like, two panels. I think two panels. There goes, that's, that's one panel. And it's not even the ones that you're getting in here. It's, like, just, just they're just Minicons. And I think they're in another panel somewhere. Oh, right there. Okay, I'm sorry, three panels. Three panels. They're up, they're up here. It's a lot of glare, but yeah, look, up. Those two panels right there. And, um, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> And this is another issue of Dark Cybertron that I have not read yet. This is chapter four. I'm still on, like, chapter one or two. So this is, like, issues I haven't even read yet. So I'll get to it eventually. But moving right along, here we have the Minicon Assault Team. And we got some Minicons up in his house. Into his house. Do people still say that? I don't know. But, yes, here we have the three Minicons. And they are quite quite cool. Now here we have uh, Wind Shear, uh, Runway, and Heavy Tread. So these are our three Minicons, and um, they look good. I mean, they, you know, they're a nice unified color scheme, so I dig that. And, uh, you know, three, three uh, nice looking little vehicles. So we'll focus on these one at a time, and then we'll go through transformation, and then get to the combined mode. So we'll start off with Wind Shear, so we'll put these two off to the side. And you see here is, well, before I, before I even get down to transformation, let's do, let's do some comparisons. Um, basically, here is Heavy Tread, and here is the Legends Megatron. As you can see, basically the same size here. So, I mean, they're, they're basically of that same, uh, that same size class going on. So, just so you can get an idea of how big they are. And they do actually have the... Uh, the Minicon posts on them, so as usual, if you have the Power Core Combiner Minicons, hey, guess what? They work with these guys. You can totally plug them on, and if you have original Minicons, like I do from the Cybertron series, you can totally plug these on, and you can have a car riding on top of them. But they are compatible with pre-existing Minicons, so there you go. So now we'll get on to some close-up looks of the individual bot. So here is Wind Shear, who I believe is the female of the group, because, um, has high heels. I, I know Starscream had high heels, but yeah, she has high heels, so I'm assuming it's a female. Um, yeah, nice helicopter mode. Nice green and black and uh, yellow paint scheme going on there. Got the blades that spin very nicely, very freely. We need a little back rotor here. Spins pretty well. So you got that going on. Got a nice little Gatling gun hanging out under there, which does plug in via a Minicon port. So it plugs in right there, but nice. I mean, the, you know, the, the robot mode arms are just kind of hanging out right there. The legs are hanging out right there, and yes, visible heads in room. Yes, right there. Totally going on there, but, you know, what are you going to do? And there are various other ports. You can take the gun and you can plug it in on the sides if you want. Totally up to you. So we'll get down the transformation to robot mode, and to do that, you're going to take this whole back section here. You're just going to bring this up like that. You're going to untab the arms like that. Then you're going to come here, 
you got to untab the legs. You see here they just tab in right to the insides of those legs. So you want to untab them first and then bring them down. Untab, bring it down. Flip the cockpit section down. And uh, that's it. There she is in her robot mode. And nice, nicely done. Very cool. Getting closer here on the head sculpt, you can see. Nice head sculpt. And a nice design. It, you know, it's it's simple, but as far as I'm concerned, it, it works. It's some nice high heels. Can't, can't, can't beat that. Nothing wrong with that. And nicely done. They got the nice, uh, nice minicon symbol right there. Tampoed on, which is a nice touch. But yeah, she's cool. Um, Articulation-wise, nothing in the head. Um, the uh, shoulders are on a ball joint. The hips are on a ball joint. And you get full movement here on the knees. And that's basically all you're going to get for posability. So, you have that. And, of course, she has her weapon. You can plug it into either arm. Actually, on this arm, it doesn't plug in that securely. It's really loose. But um, it does plug in tighter on this side. So, I just plug it into her other arm. So, there. She can wield her weapon. So there you have it. There you have Wind Shia. So we'll just put her off to the side here. And now we'll move on to Runway, who is a nice little jet. Now, he is mostly green with some black. But still, nice design. Looks cool. Some molded detailing is going on here. Digging the paint scheme. And again, got the Minicon logo right there on the wing. I have this little number that I don't know what it means, but I'm sure it means something. Um, the nose cone is uh, the, that softish plastic. On the underside, you do get visible head syndrome. Yeah, right there. And the arms are just hanging out right there, and his legs are right there. So it is kind of like robot under a jet thing. But, you know, again, it has a Minicon post right there. So, yeah. Cool little jet. Kind of a, like, a, like, a, like a prime Skyquake kind of jet. So, for transformation, you're just going to untab the arms here. You're going to bring the legs down like so. You're going to take this whole back section here, pull that off, put that to the side. Bring the legs down the rest of the way. Flip up his feet. Bring the cockpit forward and down like that. And it'll plug in. See our two, uh, these tabs right here. Just plug in to that slot right up there. Plug that in. I'll secure all that. And that's it. There he is. Runway. And his robot mode. And again, a nice design. I, I do like the way this guy looks. Getting closer on the head sculpt. I like the head sculpt. Pretty cool head sculpt. And again, all around, just, just really nice. It's simple, but it, it's nice. I think they did a really good job on these little guys. Really, really digging it. Articulation-wise, it's pretty much the same thing. The shoulders are on a ball joint. You get a ball joint at the hip, which also gives you some good rotation, too. And nice full movement there on the knee. And you can pivot his little toes up and down. You can kind of bring these out as like a heel spur. But he doesn't really need them because he actually stands very stably. Stably? Is that a word? Stably? I don't know. And, of course, you have this piece right here, which plugs onto his arm. Right there. He has those those uh, ports on either side, so you can plug them in whichever arm you want. And he has a big double-barreled arm cannon, which is pretty gangsta. That's gangsta, if you ask me, anyway. And I know gangsta. No, I don't. I don't. I don't at all. So there you have Runway. And last but not least, we have Heavy Tread. And he is a tank, and he is mostly black with some green. So you got the Minicon logo right there. Tampoed on the side. You got this number here, which I'm sure means something, but I don't know what. Green treads. You got the little cow catcher deal going on there. Um, no movement with the turret. Doesn't move at all. There's a little bit of movement, but you end up just kind of unplugging this. And, uh, yeah. No visible head syndrome, actually. <laughs> so, it works pretty well. It's a simple little tank, and he does have uh, you know, little rolling wheels. He rolls fairly well. And again, you know, he's pretty much the same size as Megatron. I know I already showed that, but I guess I'll show it again for some reason. So we'll get down to transformation. His transformation is very simple. You're just going to take these side panels here, 
you're going to bring them down, bring that down, take this, flip that up, flip this back, flip this up, flip it back, take the arms, split them, and that's it. There you have Heavy Tread in his robot mode, and he is just the, you know, short, stumpy, just tough guy. He's the heavy munitions dude. Getting close here on the head sculpt, and yes, he does have a monocle. He's got the monocle head going on there. It's a cool design. Um, I wish these panels actually, you know, ended up a little more flush against his legs. They just kind of stop there, and that bugs me a little bit, but uh, whatever. It's not the end of the world. But, um, still pretty cool design. He does have his weapon pretty much already on him, but you can unplug it if you want. It does have its own post, so I guess he can. He can actually hold it like that if you wanted to, but I think it actually works best when you just have it plugged in like that, because this is like it's like just like a big shoulder-mounted cannon or something. And articulation-wise, you can't actually move his head up and down, but it pretty much kind of disjoints his whole... <laughs> it just looks pretty disjointed when you do that. Um, the shoulders are on a ball joint here, but they don't give you a whole lot of range of movement, just slight. And uh, the legs, it can only go forward about that much. They can go backwards a little bit, and you get a little bit of movement on the toes if you want, but doesn't really make much difference as far as posability goes. So. Oh! It's coming apart. <laughs> so yeah, he's a short, stocky, I'm gonna bust you up guy. So here you have the three Minicons all together. And they're a good looking team! They, they really look good together. And just for another comparison, here he is with the Legends Optimus. Just, you know, just so you can see again how they stack up. You see, it's a little bit shorter. Right there. Here's Heavy Tread. And here is Windshear. Windshear is obviously the, the shortest of the three. So, just so you can get a sense of, of how uh, how these guys stack up. But a nice set of, of three little bots. I, I really like these guys. They're, they're cool. They're really neat. But of course, the main thing they can do is they can combine into one robot. So we'll get down to that. So we will start off with... Who should we start off with? Okay, we'll start off with Heavy Tread. We'll start from the bottom and work our way up. So start off with Heavy Tread. To get him ready for transformation, you're just going to take the weapon, take that off, put it to the side. All you're going to do for this guy is just put his arms back in and split his body in half. Turn him around, and there you go. All done. So you got that done. Now we're going to take Runway... Remove his weapon, put that to the side. To get him ready, you're just going to bring this up, and uh, you basically want to free these pieces up. And you see here, this whole this piece right here is on a double hinge right here. So you're basically going to take this, bring it down, and you see there's actually a groove for it. You're going to slide it right into this groove, like that, and it will click into place. And you see there's a tab right there, and that's going to go into this slot right in there. Like that. That'll lock all that into place. Once you do that, you just want to flip the toe in, and then you're going to come back here, you're going to flip up this panel, and that will reveal the combined mode fist. Second verse, same as the first, to take this and bring it around, bring it up into place, make sure that's tabbed in, secure that, just flip the foot down, flip this panel up, and there you go. Now you're just going to take the hands, and you're going to bring them in like that and make it look like he's holding himself, yeah, <laughs> flip this back down, like that, yeah, that looks awkward, <laughs> that's, that's an awkward, trans, that, that's an awkward transformation right there, that just, but that's, that's the way it's supposed to be, but you're going to flip him upside down, and then you're going to bring what are now the arms down, like that, so you got that ready to go, now we'll put that off to the side. Now here we have a wind shear. Again, take the weapon, put it off to the side. All you're going to do for her is you're going to raise this up. You don't want to click it back into place. You just want to raise it up and get it out of the way. And you're just going to take the arms. Well, you're going to take the, the, the blades here, put them together. Now you're going to take the arms. Now in helicopter mode, the arms would tab in right here. 
they would use these tabs. But for combined mode, you're going to use these tabs up here. So you're going to tab in the arms right up there. Tab in the arms right there. You're going to take this. Is Actually, no. I have to do this first. You're going to lift up this whole panel right here. And that reveals the combined mode head. And flip that up. Come on, man. Flip that up. Like that. Close that back up. And now we're going to tab those arms in. Come on. Work with me, girl. Work with me. There you go. Thinking, what? This thing likes to pop off. Sometimes I'm a little too rough with her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get on there. There we go. It's going to bring that up. And now she's all ready to go. That's all you're going to do with that. So once you've done that, you're going to take the legs. You're going to take him in his awkward position. And basically, his head is going to go into this point right here. And this clip will go in right behind his head. He's going to take that. Plug it in, and snap it in like that. Once you have that done, you want to take this nose cone, you want to bring it out a little bit. And you're basically going to plug this post into this port, and the nose cone will end up going right into this port, behind the mini-con port. Just going to take that, plug that in back there, make sure the nose cone plugs into the right place, right there. Push that all together. There you have that. Now you're going to come back here. You're going to take this tail fin section. And this right here will tab in to that slot right there. Like that. And then you just take the legs and you fold them up along the back. Like that. Just tuck it in there nice and neat. And there you go. There you have the combined mode of Centuritron. And he looks pretty freaking cool, I have to say. For a 3 Minicon combiner, this actually looks really, really good. Um, now, due to the transformation, he does end up with some, some gaps going on here. This, this kind of chest section here does look kind of a little bit hollow, but it's not the end of the world. I still think it looks really good, considering what it's doing. I, I really, really do like it. Um, getting closer on the head sculpt... Dig the head sculpt. Love that. That looks really, really cool. And, you know, again, the, the unified color scheme just, you know, really makes it all come together nicely. Just very cool. It's very, very cool. I dig it. I dig it a lot. And he has a, he has a, a face on his butt. But, you know, hey. He's, he's a butt face. What can I say? He's a butt face. But I mean that in the nicest way possible. <laughs> now, articulation-wise, shoulders are on a ball joint. He does have an elbow joint. Um, the hips are on a ball joint, but they are pretty limited. No, not a lot of outward movement going on there, but you get uh, some good range of motion. Um, these arms, heavy treads arms, you kind of get in the way of the uh, knee movement, but once you move them out of the way, you know, pretty good. Pretty good movement there on the knee. You know, you can wiggle his toes. So, you know, not the most posable thing in the world, but still, pretty cool. And now you can take all these leftover weapons here. And what you're going to do with these is you're going to take, uh, let's see, how do you do this? Oh, yeah, you're going to take Winchier's gun, and you're going to plug it into the top right here. And then you're going to take Runway's guns, and you're going to plug them in right under here. Like that. And now you have the combined mode gun, which looks pretty cool. And that will fit in his hand, like that. And whoop! It is a little tight. Get in there, man. Get in there. See, it's going to push itself out. Get in there. There we go. There you go. There he is holding his weapon. He's cool. I really do like him. I'm, I'm digging this. I'm digging this a lot. Now, for comparison, here he is with Scoop. Just so you can see, like, in combined mode, they actually are a, a 
basically a, a deluxe size. So it, it works out pretty well. And here he is with Whirl, just because. Just because I like Whirl. So there you go. There he is with Whirl. And uh, yeah, a neat set of, of three figures that, you know, considering they have to be triple changers, you know, they, they work well. I think they work well in all three modes. You know, the vehicle modes work, you know, work good. The robot modes look nice. And, and this combined mode, I think, looks really cool. I mean, it's not perfect, but I still think it looks cool considering what it has to do, and I do quite like it. And I would say, you know, if, if you see this guy out in the wild, or, you know, if you want to pick him up from Big Bad Toy Store, link, in, link down below. <laughs> um, I, I think he's worth your time. He, these guys are, are definitely fun. And uh, I think definitely worth having. So I think that's pretty much it for this guy. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I, oh god, he has a mini con port right in his crotch. I didn't know. That. Anyway, links in the description down below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Generations Mini Con Assault Team. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face. <laughs> Hey, little bots! Little bots! Oh, so glad I found you! I can't find anybody else on the ship. It's almost like they're avoiding me. Nah! But dudes, listen, I have this story to tell you. You will not believe what I just saw. What the? Listen, buddy. I've heard about your face stories. I don't want to hear them. No one wants to hear them. And if you even think about telling it again... I'm going to have to tell a story of my own. Are we clear? Sure. You know something? I don't get you guys. Okay? I'm an artist. I paint a picture with words and my face. You guys just don't understand me.